Hey guys, it is Spooky Noodles, and I am here with a bubble uh, bubble unwrapping. Bubble unwrapping. Bubble wrap unwrapping? Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Bubble wrap unwrapping. Um, because I already opened it in the box, and I didn't know what it was, because it's not supposed to be here this quick. Um, I thought it was coming from, like, California. So, I was very surprised to get this, um... I pre-ordered the ebook for seven dollars, which I thought was a little bit much for an ebook. But uh, I, it, nevertheless, I uh, bought the ebook, and I'm waiting for its release date. And then I go on eBay and I see the original copy on uh, for sale, or not for sale, for bid. So I put a bid in, and I didn't expect to win it because you know how people are snipers and they come in at the very end of your. Um, bids and you never win the book. That's how it works every time I go into a Tony Bacon uh, uh, auction. Uh, literally, like at the last second, someone bids and I don't get the book. Then I get mad and then go on Etsy or eBay and then find the book there and buy it there. <laughs> so, um, but so I was excited when I won this auction. Um, the book was quite well. You'll see in a second why it was so expensive. But the book was only fifteen bucks. I say only because wait till you see what it is. Um, I'm doing this because I wanted to do a book haul for all the books that I'm getting, but uh, I guess this is a special book and I'm very excited to share with you guys it. So, oh, it's so new. It's so new, guys. I'm scared to even own this. It's still in the wrapping. I'll take it out in the wrapping if the glare is too bad, but uh, A Nest of Nightmares by Lisa Tuttle. I saw Hey There Little Thrifter, I think that's her name, um, I think her name is, it starts with an A, I want to say Alex, but I'm probably wrong, um, she's a great YouTube channel, go check her out, um, she reviewed this book, and her review made me want this book like crazy. And as much as I was going, I was going to pay for the, uh, I paid for the ebook, uh, pre-ordered the ebook, which I'm going to see if I can cancel now because I own the original copy now. And this baby is in great condition. The spine has no crease. Uh, there's no bit up corners. No, I don't believe it has any dog ears. Um, I should probably open, open it up. Um. Oh, this is so cool. Here I go. Ah, oh, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way. Oh no, James, do not ruin this for me. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I love you too, James. I love you too. <sighs> yeah, get your slobbery face away from me. Um... Okay, there's a little bit of a crease, but you barely can tell. Um, holy cow, this is such a cool thing. Oh, it's never been read, guys. It has never been read. Into the world of loneliness, anxiety, and fear. A Nest of Nightmares by Lisa Tuttle. And, uh, yeah, I own it. I'm very happy to own this book. Um, I ordered another Lisa Tuttle book. Um, I ordered a familiar spirit, which has like a cat on it. I just love the cover. And then I found this and bid, made a bid on it and I didn't expect to win it and I won it. So here I am now with the, holding it. Um, I'll read you the back guys real quick, but if you haven't seen Hey There Little Thrifter or Hey Little Thrifter, I think that's, I, I'm saying it wrong. I know I am. So correct me if I'm wrong, obviously. Um, I don't like being wrong. <laughs> Um, but I'll read the back for you guys. This is a horror, uh, collection of short stories. Um, and I'm afraid to even, like, open this because I don't want to bend anything. It says for Megan. Here's the acknowledgments. Um, then it has a contents. So this baby has a few, uh, stories. Bug House is number one. Doll Burger, Community Property, Flying to Byzantium, 
Byzantium, Treading the Maze, The Horse Lord, The Other Mother, Need, A Memory of Wood, A Friend in Need, Stranger in the House, Sun City, and The Nest. This book kind of smells funny. It smells like... It smells like, uh... I don't know how to say how it smells. It smells really new. That's what it smells like. I mean, it's not new, but... Oh, it has the cover illustration by Nick Bantock. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a first edition. Um... I don't know, guys. Um, this book is sold subject to. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, this is the first edition, and uh, yeah, it has the United Kingdom, Canada, and New Zealand prices. And I am so freaking happy to own this book. Um, I'll read the back for you guys, but uh, it's just ba it's not really giving any information on the stories. It's just a little, uh, you know, like uh, what you'll be faced with when you read the story. So, Yellow Cos Cotswold, Yellow Cotswold Stone against spiky winter trees. Pam and her sister Sylvia fell in love with the old house on the spot. Sylvia would take long walks in the country. Pam would say have tea ready. By the fire for when she returned. Nice fantasies. The house had that kind of effect on people. It felt cozy, lived in it, though it had been empty for many years. Oddly, there was rubbish everywhere, but there was no other sign of a squatter's brief inhabited, uh, inhabitation. <laughs> and though the windows were unbroken, the doors securely locked, Pam could never entirely rid herself of the thought that she and her sister might be not be alone in the house. One of 13 terrifying tales. And that is The Nest, I believe. I think that's that's describing The Nest. Uh, it's, well, okay, it's either the first one, Bug House, which would make sense because it's a house, or it's The Nest, and that would make sense because The Nest is a house. Um, I'm very excited to read this. Um, so brand new, it's crazy. I think it's a bug house. Um, actually, no. Um, this actually, no, the bug house has a girl named Ellen in it, and it said the girl's names were Pam and uh, Sylvia. So, I'll just go to the back real quick. Um, Books of Blood by Clyde Barker, and it shows all the volumes. Um, it says something by George R. R. Martin, which is, um, all right, let's see here. Um, uh, I'm just looking for names. Sylvia, okay, the last story is The Nest. What I just described to you is The Nest, which is the last story in this book. Excited to own this, guys. I'm probably gonna read this very soon. I'm gonna try to slip it into my TBR, my coming of age TBR. Like, when whenever I get bored of a coming of age, the coming of age brunt of things, um, I'm gonna whip this book out for, and just read a couple stories. Um, this book is not that long, it is 208, 208 pages long. So this is a great collection of short stories by, uh, from what I've heard, a great female horror author. Um, I haven't read any female horror authors yet, so she will be one of my first. I'm trying to think if I have yet. I haven't read any female horror authors yet. I own Ruby G. Jensen's House of Illusions and Pendulum, and I thought there was one more, but I can't think of any more that I own. I own Lisa Tuttle's A Nest of Nightmares, and I own, well, will be owning A Familiar Spirit by Lisa Tuttle as well. Um, Lisa Tuttle, Ruby Jean Jensen, and Kathy Koja are three female authors I own, and I cannot wait to give them a read. 
Uh, Lisa Tuttle's A Nest of Nightmares is, this is a beautiful book. It's like literally like got that new book smell. Like it smells like plaster. That's what it smells like. It smells like plaster. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It just smells like plaster. Like this was on someone's library shelf for a long time, you know, and just never was read. And then it just collected that plaster smell from the back of the wall. And yeah, that's what it smells like plaster. And I'm so happy to own this. I hope I don't completely destroy it like my other books. Um, but uh, I will leave a link to um, Hey Little Thrifters uh, review of this book. At least I think it's Hey Little Thrifter. Uh, I will double check right now. Um, hey Little Thrifter. I keep saying Hey There Little Thrifter, so my apologies. Um, it's Hey Little Thrifter. Um, and she had a uh, review of this book. Um, I'm trying to find it on YouTube, but I'm not having a good time finding it. Um, a nest, or I'll actually type in Lisa Tuttle, because that's probably what the title of her video is. Um, something, something, Lisa Tuttle. Yes, there it is. Uh, so now I own this book, and I'm so happy to own it. Um, I never thought I'd own this book. Um, and that's uh, A Night Nest of Nightmares by Lisa Tuttle. Um, very happy to own this book. Um, I wish more authors would release uh, short story collections, um, especially female authors. Um, I know I have a few like Ruby Jean Jensen and a few Kathy Koja books to read. Um, I think Kathy Koja is like the Clive Barker of females. And then we got Lisa Tuttle, um, who I don't really know who to compare her with, um, if, if I want to compare her to anybody. Um, I haven't read her yet, but that's just what I hear is Kathy, like I hear Kathy Koja is like the female Clyde Barker. Um, I haven't heard anything about Ruby Jean Jensen, and I haven't heard anything about Lisa Tuttle like in comparisons. I've heard plenty of things about Lisa Tuttle and uh, Ruby Jean Jensen. Uh, everyone knows RJJ, but uh, at least in the horror community, um, her books have become very collectible. Uh, this has been a really sought out book. Like I think I saw it on Amazon for around a hundred bucks. So to find this on eBay for 15 bucks was crazy. I wonder if this came from Hey uh, Little Thrifter <laughs> because uh, yeah, it's crazy. I can't believe I own this. You know, um, I've gone on for 13 minutes. I just wanted to show you this book I got today. Um, I'm very, 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 very shocked to own it. Um, I thank whoever sold me this book. Um, it was very generous of them to give away such a rare book for such a measly price of 15 bucks plus like shipping of three or four dollars. Um, my heart is racing right now, guys. I feel like I'm about to pass out, and that's weird because I just took a nap. So, like, I'm just that excited for this. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say, guys. It's a nest of nightmares. A nest of nightmares by Lisa Tuttle. I'm so excited because a little thrifter totally bo boasted about this. Not boasted. Um, like she ex celebrated this book. Um, she said it was amazing. I don't remember what she said her favorite stories are, but I will definitely give you a review and tell you what my favorite stories were. Um, just like I did with Ryan Kelly's uh, Mr. Glowbones and other Halloween tales, I will do a list, uh, one to five, of my favorite stories from the collection. And uh, you guys will um, see what I think about this book. Um, I think I'm going to do this out of order, though. Like, I'm going to read what this book is named after first so i'm gonna go to the nest which is on page 184 and it goes to 208 so it's not that long of a story um it sounds like one of those stalker situations and as a guy stalker situations doesn't really scare me that much but as a girl that would be super scary stupid super scary so i'm looking forward to reading everything in this book um, I might go out of order. I might go from be the end to the beginning. But yeah, 
Um, I hope you guys have a great day and a spooky night, and I'll see you in the next video. Hi, guys. Now I am become death.